Greetings, everyone, and happy Saturday. This is a uh, Husky Commerce walkthrough van, and this will be the first Husky I've ever done. Husky toy cars were originally manufactured by Metoy Playcraft Limited, another uh, British company. Metoy also produced uh, the larger Corgi line, and Husky was intended to compete directly with Matchbox. It was first introduced in 1964. The line was short-lived, though, because it was eventually rebanded under the Corgi banner as Corgi Jr. Uh, in 1970. Uh, this one is uh, kind of interesting. It's got red sliding doors, and it's just this awful color. Has a uh, uh, see-through roof that has a crack in it. Clearly been played with quite a bit. It's got a real interesting suspension system. And it's held together by a single post right in the front. Uh, they, The brand was actually reintroduced in 2005 uh, with a line of emergency vehicles. And once I drilled that out, it came apart pretty easily. Got a chassis with a little driver guy. You know, the company itself had an interesting history of buyouts. And at one time, it was even owned by Mattel. And originally, when I got this, I was thinking about painting it red and trying to match those uh, doors. Uh, then I decided I was just going to see if I could create this pukey-looking green paint. And grind off the the burr on the edge of the, the post and get ready to throw it into some stripper. There she goes. Give a little shake for luck. The Commer Company it was a British manufacturer uh, in business from 1905 to 1979, and they built uh, vans, medium to heavy trucks, military vehicles, buses. They also produced a few diesel engines. This is actually, a, I think, a really well put together chassis. I mean, it's uh, got some interesting detail. I kind of wish that back door opened, but this isn't the worst way to do it. The walkthrough itself was introduced in 1961 uh, in one and a half, two ton, and three ton van and cab configurations. And uh, you could get a choice of gasoline or diesel engines. And it was also built in Spain beginning in 1964. So getting this casting ready for paint, and then I really, I do have to apologize to you guys because... Uh, I really, really missed my mark on the paint. I forgot to film the priming. I just used white. And then the paint I mixed, I used uh, white, yellow, brown, and green. And then I was hoping, because I didn't order any glass, I actually didn't even look for it, that by polishing it, the crack would not be particularly visible. And anyway, uh, this is a really quick video, so let's take a look at where I wound up. So there you have it, the uh, Husky Commer walkthrough van. You know, I think another couple of drops of uh, yellow and another drop of green would have got me a little closer to the mark, but... Uh, one thing about light colors, uh, I use Tamiya paint, is that when they're in the jar, oftentimes they'll look completely different than after they've cured. Uh, but 
Even though I missed my paint mark a little bit, I'm still pretty happy with this. And I'll be proud to put it on the shelf. Stick around for a fairly short version of the bench if that interests you. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around for this episode of The Bench. Say, the three blind mice have picked their casting for the month of August. Uh, apparently, uh, George Hodges had a subscriber send him three VW buses made by M2. And he's going to send one to me and he's going to send one to Paul. And we're going to think of something to do with these. And I guess uh, uh, they were sent in with the... Uh, uh, because of the anniversary of Woodstock. So we'll see where we go with it. I don't know. I didn't go to Woodstock. So I don't know if there's a hippie van in my future or not. And then I've been working on this 8E Mustang. And I uh, finally got around to plugging the door up. And this is uh, my rough version. And I'm going to have to do some finish work on it. But we'll keep going with that. And, you know, I had a lot of people say, well, why didn't you just buy a super fast? And I thought, well, that wouldn't make much of a video, would it? Uh, and then, uh, last but not least, uh, having finished the Husky Van, which was a real, uh, simple restoration, I'm gonna start on this Isogrippo, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, and I'm gonna do a custom on this, and as you can see, I am missing a door, but fortunately for me, because, you know, life is just really good to me, I got another door, and so we'll see where I go with that. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope everybody has a nice weekend, and i uh, see you in the next video. So give me a thumb up if you like it, and a thumb down if you don't. And if you make comments, please keep them respectful. Have a good day.